What's up guys, YK404 back with you, and I'm back after a very long time. I know you guys missed me, I missed you as well. Drop a comment below letting me know how your winter has been going. Uh, but today, we are going to jump into some Blizzard Lalo attack strategy for Town Hall 15. I've been wondering myself what attack strategy works well at Town Hall 15, since my account has been pretty new. At Town Hall 15, I've been struggling to find out. So once I did find out what strategy was working somewhat good, I decided that it's gonna be Blizzard Lalo. I tested it uh, for a little bit of a while myself, and I did see some uh, good um, results. So you can see here on um, this league day again. I'm still trying to learn it at Town Hall 15. My heroes are still not all max. King is still. Uh, a couple of levels behind, but you can see I've gotten some very consistent results here um, Three triples 199% 190% and rest of them 80% uh, ish so good percent and good consistency overall So yeah, I wanted to see how it works and let's dive in and learn together Alright, so we have our first attack here. It's a ring stall base. There's an invis tower. There's a poison tower I have a heal spell a lot to talk about I know but let's dive into this first attack and I'll tell you what the heal spell is for later down the road So the blimp is going you can see I have uh, 10 goblins and four super wizards in the blimp So that's that's something that allows me to drop the invis spell a little bit later down the road uh, Luckily we get the town hall the goal was to actually first get like um the scattershot, the queen, and then once the invis spell wears off, then get the town hall, but we got it like the town hall first and then the scattershot, so <laughs> that's totally fine, perfectly okay, I can't complain about it. Now, what I'm doing wrong here is I'm still like, I'm waiting before I start my Sui, because I'm so confused and I'm out of practice because I've not been playing the game for so long. I mean, yeah, a lot of you guys could relate to this situation that I'm going through. You guys take a break and then you forget a lot of stuff. Yeah, your muscle memory does not work as good as it used to. But anyways, you can see we are starting the Sui Hero portion here. The super wall break, not the best kind of wall break I would like. But anyways, we do pull out the clan castle troops here. And, uh, well, we have to worry about a super minion along with the Lava Hound. Not the worst kind of, uh, you know, clan castle that you can expect, but again, not the best kind of one. Dropping the poison to deal with the clan castle troops, uh, basically the lava pups and super minion here. The royal champion did not have the best day of her life. However, the queen with her ability is going to be able to take down the eagle artillery. So that's there. That's good. Now, again, second mistake. Again, waiting before I start my Lalo. I should have started my Lalo by now. The reflex, the reaction speeds need to get better over time. Well, that is something we are here all together on board to learn and practice, right? So, uh, balloons going in with the Grand Warden. You can see the Lava Hound. Second Lava Hound actually is going in with uh, the Headhunters. Warden's ability protecting everything. Headhunters go across the base, take down the enemy queen over there. Uh, that's a good thing. We do freeze a couple of defenses here, including the Multi Inferno. Healing spell at the core of the base to protect the balloons because they're losing health left and right. And yeah, that's something handy you can have for the end of the attack or when your balloons hit the core where there might be a lot of uh, red bombs. So that's something you can use the heal spell for. You can also use the heal spell for any sort of poison tower that your balloons go through or even if they go through the town hall's poison. So with two poison spell towers in the combination nowadays, it's a bit tough to do Lalo, any sort of Lalo. So that's why I feel like bringing this uh, heal spell is kinda handy, it helps you a lot, and you can improvise, you can do a lot of things with it. So this is just one example of what you can do with the heal spell. There's multi more. Next base here is an anti two star base. It's not a ring base, but the town hall is at the core and definitely they don't want you to get the uh, two star on this base. There's again an invis tower and a poison tower combination. So uh, battle blimp is dropping right in front of the town hall where I want it to drop and I'm raging the super wizards 
also invisibling them. That is how a blizzard works, basically. So we're getting the town hall, hopefully here, the lava, uh, ice, ice lava hound, ice hound, basically, pops and freezes my super wizards. They almost die, but they do take out the town hall. So that's a good thing. That's, that's something we want, right? I'm using the baby dragon to funnel. Again, a basic thing about Lalo is creating the pathing, right? So I'm doing that. I'm taking the... The chunk of the pie taking the piece of the pie or the pizza and then i'm cutting the outer edge to make it look like that an entire slice has been taken off using the sneaky goblin on the outside then placing the king to go inside uh head enter a little bit late a bit too late tad bit late yeah but we're okay the queen did not die or use her ability so that's 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 okay that's totally fine now we are also starting the royal champion as you can see on the top side using a wizard as well to force the king go inside of the eagle artillery compartment the poison tower uh yeah it slowed my queen very much however we are fine it looks like and we also used all of our head hunters because i panicked as i saw the enemy king approaching my royal champion i wanted my rc to stay alive Unfortunate, she did not stay alive, but that's okay. King's ability takes down the Eagle Artillery. And yeah, we're pretty much good to start the Lalo. I should have started the Lalo because I was going, you know, opposite of where the Sui is headed anyways. So could have saved me time. Again, small mistakes that are going to, um, you know, work out better eventually over time when I start to um, practice and get better. The aim is to get better with you guys all together. So, healing spell again to, uh, you know, heal those loons that got damaged very badly. And I'm also freezing the, what is it, the scattershot. And I'm also hoping the invis tower does not do anything weird. So, we're good over there. The invis tower went down and the last couple of defenses will also go down. Bad thing about this attack, the world champion still standing because I used all of my headhunters early. This very much could not have been a 3 star. However, things were so overpowering that it ended up being one, so kinda got lucky, kinda execution was good in some other parts that helped me back up against this world champion. So yeah, um, that's there, there's the 3 star. Finally, we have a diamond style base in front of us here, it's a symmetric base guys, uh, kind of diamond shaped. And we have two poison towers, so that's deadly. And this is the example where I show you why the heal spell is crucial for your blizzard part. So, the blimp drops, I see the poison tower going off onto my super wizards, and I drop a heal spell. Now, the heal spell actually heals my super wizards way faster than the poison spell uh, doing the damage. So what happens is we actually get the town hall, we also get the inferno tower, and that's all we were looking for here, right? That's all we were aiming for. So that's a win-win situation. That is something I fear. Like, um, I was afraid for a long time when this poison tower got introduced. I was like, how am I supposed to do blizzards now? And looks like this is the perfect counter carrying that healing spell for your blizzard part. So that's something I am doing and I'm seeing some good success and I think you guys should do as well. Uh, but anyways, you can see the Sui has started, the Queen is trying to deal with the uh, Skeletons with the Poison and the Witch has decided to go the other way for some reason. But anyways, we are still breaking the wall for the King to go inside and hopefully the King can grab the single Inferno. Rel Champion should be able to grab some of uh, other defenses or not. <laughs> well, Super Minions are gonna be slapping my Rel Champion silly. That's okay, that's totally fine. Queen is helping shaping the base again and helping us get that kind of padding for the Lalo that we look for. Also taking down a scattershot that is really crucial, that is really good for us, so uh, definitely appreciate that. And we're also starting the Lava Loon portion here as you can see. A lot of the balloons going in, first Lava Hound also passed through, more balloons cutting the path to go inside the single Inferno Tower compartment. And the second hound, more headhunters all in. We're going to drop a haste and we're going to use the warden's ability to protect these balloons over here. And through the haste spell, of course, the headhunters zap through and take out the royal champion over there. We're hasting again for the lava loon portion and the scattershot drops perfectly fine. 
We do have final free spell, we will drop it on top of the Builder Hut and the Monolith because the rest of the defenses are going down to the level in portion. However, the tornadoes, <laughs> tornado stalls our balloons and the traps take out most of our loons. That's, that's sad, but that's okay. We do get some additional lava pups from the hound popping over here. Good thing we have cleanup now. Um, I was kind of worried about the cleanup, but that's that's definitely welcoming. Yeah, I, I, I definitely love that. And with that, uh, this is going to be another three star, guys. Um, I hope you understood the, uh, the way that I use the heal spell here, because that's important. Finally, it's time for the 99% fail oh god my goodness <laughs> i messed up the blimp here totally look at that i mean come on uh yeah well it was one of the first attacks of the day so can't really blame myself i was still in the learning mode kind of you know i was warming up come on give me a break <laughs> but yeah we do get the town hall and that's pretty much it we don't get anything else so not a brilliant blizzard value but i do pull out the clan castle troops so that's something I can appreciate, and yeah, well, it's not terrible, it's not amazing either, considering there was um, a lot of other good values in the base. Just because of the blimp placement, I think, uh, I won't really blame anything else here. And also, it was kinda, kinda, uh, kinda, kinda meh, uh, the way I placed the last couple of balloons here, but moving on, we do drop the Archer Queen finally, and she's gonna take out the last super minion over there. I should have started the king, but again, delayed. Reflex time, reflex action, that's what we need to focus on. We have the super wall break giving us access to the scatter shot and single inferno compartment. We have the royal champion going in. Hopefully she can take out the monolith or the eagle or both, at least one. I don't know, we'll have to see. But yeah, that's the plan, like taking some of the defenses, carving out the path, making a good pathing for the Lava Loon portion. That's what I wanted from this Sui. Uh, King is coming back to the upper compartment, that is good, that is definitely something uh, I want. So the upper compartment gets cleared out a little bit more. Queen's ability is going to be used, she's gonna die to the single inferno and the King is gonna just keep beating on the wall and that's it. He's not gonna do anything else. For the rest of the attack, the King is gonna beat on the wall, nothing more nothing less. So, I decide to start the Lava Loon because now the pathing is not looking that great, I'm a bit worried. And this is a pretty wide Lava Loon, guys. A big path, way too wide than I would uh, like it to be. However, it's okay. I decide to go with a heal spell on the left group of Balloon and the Warden uh, Eternity Tome, the Warden Ability, on the right group of Loons. So both the groups stay protected, something that I improvised on here, uh, I think you should be able to do that as well as you practice and hopefully it pays off sometimes. But with that you can see uh, most of the balloons are looking very good and they're moving towards the wizard tower, the expo. A lot of the loons dropped but most of the loons survived very well I would say considering uh, I messed up the padding of the Lalo, and it was a pretty wide Lalo. Making it work was a little bit hard for me. Yeah, uh, overall, it was a slightly quite messy attack, I would say. But that's okay. We make mistakes, we learn. And with that, you can see it's just literally the lab that's not going down, and we end up with a 99%. Oh, man. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next one.